Hi everybody, it's Kelly from My Mini Camper Van, and today I'm going to engage in a little toilet talk. <laughs> you know, that's always a problem when you have a, a mini camper van, where are you going to go, and how are you going to do it. Um, it's also a problem if you have a small trailer and you're off the grid, which is what we are. We don't, we're not, we're in the 21 foot trailer right now. It's not hooked up to any water, no electricity, nothing. We, we have to take care of everything ourselves here. And we, this is the reason why I actually chose uh, uh, to use a simple luggable loo for the Sienna van when I put it together. Um, it's inexpensive and it works really well. We, we discovered this when this trailer, which we bought brand new, developed a leak, a toilet leak within a few months and it was a, it was a mess <laughs> and so, so we, we completely removed the toilet plugged the lines um, and put this in instead it's a simple five gallon bucket from Home Depot let's do this and a luggable loo seat and lid um, we double bag everything so it's got two sets of garbage bags inside so there's no problem with the leaking or any problems um, what we put inside uh, to control the odor and to absorb moisture and whatnot is a combination of sawdust and these wood pellets, uh, burning wood stove pellets, um, I'm sorry, wood stove burning pellets, uh, as you can get in Wisconsin, they're just hard compressed pieces of wood. Um, I think I pay like about six dollars for 40 or 50 pounds of these. Um, I know that some places sell wood pellets for barbecues or something, but they cost a whole lot more. Just just don't spend that kind of money on something you're just going to go on. Um, one nice thing about these pellets is they smell really good. They smell like piney fresh kind of. They're, and, and you know, you don't smell what's in there if you cover properly. And we found that in the Sienna, which we have one of these in the Sienna as well, uh, being such a tiny confined little area that even if you use these if you use these wood pellets and you go and you forget it like we did once at the airport we forgot it came back like a week later it didn't smell as long as the lids down tight and it does create a tight seal and you've got these wood pellets inside and it's covered properly you don't even smell it and we're down in very humid Florida and you don't even know there's a toilet in here which is is wonderful. That, that's something I can't say is true when we had the, 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 the normal water toilet. You could smell it. I mean, you could tell that there was something in here. Um, so just, just for ease of use and ease of uh, disposability and all that sort of stuff, I strongly recommend one of these. And it, it was not expensive at all. Um, one thing I will say is we tried, we, we, you know, they don't sell these wood pellets down here in Florida. Um, so we tried cat litter. That was a terrible mistake. That, that, it smelled like a giant cat box. And you know, cat boxes, they always kind of smell. And when it's humid, they, they stink. Um, I would say that's only as a last ditch thing if you're traveling and you can't get anything else. Uh, I, otherwise I go with the sawdust and the, and the wood pellets. It works, it works really well. It's inexpensive. Um, it's comfortable enough. You can sit on it for a few minutes, but you don't want to stay on real long. You, know, you don't want to be in here anyway, you want to be outside playing. So, um, if you got any questions, uh, email me or uh, leave comments on YouTube. Um, you can also check us out on Instagram, uh, Facebook, and Twitter. So, I, I think that's all I have to say about Toilet Talk. If you've got anything else, uh, let me know. Alright, thanks.